Hello, and this is Shane from Tweaking.com. Today I'm going to show you how to recover the registry um, if you've been using the Tweaking.com registry backup program, but you don't have uh, the Windows 7 or Windows XP recovery console repair options, and you don't have the disks, you have no way to get to it. This is how you can uh, take care of that with no problem, and this is actually by far one of the easier ways to do it. Um, now, in this case, what we're going to use is we need a live CD, a, a CD that we can boot an operating system off of. If you have a preference and you already have one in your tech, you know what you're doing, that's fine. In this case, I'm going to use Ubuntu, which is a flavor of uh, Linux, and it's completely free, and any user can just go download the ISO. If, and then you just burn it to a disk and if you don't have a CD burner or you don't have a drive say you have a netbook you can uh, make a bootable USB drive and so what we do is we're, we boot up into another operating system and we're running it off the CD or thumb drive and so none of the files on the drive are being touched what this allows us to do is to get into the system and copy the files so in this case we're gonna go to the folder uh, or to the drive where Windows is stored. We're simply going to go into where we have the backup. We're going to go inside here and then here's our backup. We're going to go to here and we're simply going to grab these. Then we just go back to the root. We right click and paste and hit merge and replace. And done. All the files are copied over and they're right where they should be. You don't have to go and move multiple things. It's one copy and paste function. That's it. We're done. Then we shut down the system, reboot, and your registry is restored. This is why this is the easiest way. So keeping a live CD handy is a good idea. If you have any problems, just post in the forums and I'll be there to help you. Take care.